Boom shakalaka. This is the line in the sand for Bitcoin. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at exactly what's been happening with Bitcoin. Some bearish charts, some bullish charts, and then where we could potentially see Bitcoin heading. Plus the real reason my channel got banned. You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. It is great to be back. I am so happy to be back with all of you. Wanted to say thank you so much. It's been a little bit of a vacation for me. The first time I've actually had a day off of making videos since October of 2020. So that was nice. If I'm a bit rusty today, forgive me. But today we're talking about Bitcoin, why this is the line in the sand right here. Plus, what it could look like in the worst sense and what it could look like in the best sense. We'll be taking a look at both of those things. Before we do, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also, come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, so you can stay in touch with us in case the channel ever gets banned again. But also because every day we post some of the best charts in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Now, today, we have extreme fear. It's been pretty bad the past week, the past month as a matter of fact since the last time i made a video about five or six days ago market has crashed about i don't know eight percent or so so maybe the whole market's crying because i haven't made videos but uh maybe it's just a coincidence now the market today down about two percent bitcoin at 35865 ethereum at 2671 bnb at 376 xrp at 59 cents solana at 80 dollars cardano at 77 cents Terra Luna at $73 and Dogecoin at $0.12. Cents. And if you want to know the top coins today to outpace just holding Bitcoin alone, up almost 667%. Today we would have WeWay, Tron, Beldex, Dowmaker, and Synapse. And if you want to check this out for yourself with token metrics, use artificial intelligence, machine learning to pick out the best coins. You could even add some low caps for higher risk, but potentially much higher reward. There is a discounted link down in the description. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are curious why the channel has been gone. And from what I was told, it was some type of violation of community guidelines, but they didn't say much more than that. And even after reinstating the channel, they didn't really tell me why. So as far as the real reason for it, I don't know, but I do have to thank a lot of you. Everyone who's been out there tweeting, retweeting, trying to get attention of Team YouTube, it helped out so much. So thank you all so much. Specifically, but not limited to, BitBoy, The Cat, Plan C, Adam Charles, Crypto Rich, Crypto Lifer, Crypto Stackers, Project Sanctuary. And also, I just want to say thank you to everyone who retweeted on here. I'm just going to go through this. Take a second because it was because of your retweets and getting Team YouTube's attention that the channel was able to come back so quickly. And it's times like these when I'm reminded of how close the crypto community is. So I just want to thank all of you so much. It means a lot and it's great to be back. So now on to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. What's been going on with Bitcoin in the past week? I mean, take a look at this. Channels banned back here and then the whole entire market dumped. But we are at the line in the sand for many, many reasons. So we've broken out of this blue uptrend that we were in since the beginning of January, invalidated when we broke out of there. But we found support on what was this downtrend right here, this dashed white line. We found support there. As a matter of fact, also coincidentally with the 100 week moving average, this blue line right here. And if we zoom out with this giant white trend line we've been in. So this is kind of the line in the sand. If Bitcoin is going to find support, it's likely got to do it here because if it doesn't find it here, it could be heading all the way down to $30,000. And if that happens, we have a nice double top right here, could be heading down to $20,000 or lower. But this is all speculation because we have to take a look at things on a longer time frame. We have to take a look at the bearish scenarios, the bullish scenarios, and then add it all up in our head and figure out what's going to happen. Now, Right before the channel was banned, I was actually taking a look at this because a lot of indicators were suggesting that we've already seen the bottom. The bottom's already in. So I was saying, hey, okay, fine. Let's take a look at BLX, Brave New Coin Liquid Index. And let's take a look at the bar patterns from the bottom to the next peak. And let's just overlay that with where we are right now. So I did that from this bottom here in August 2015 up to the peak in November, and that's this blue one right here, you can see. And then I did it from this bottom here in February 2019 and all the way up to the peak there. And as you can see, when we connect them with where we are right now, look at how nicely it lines up with this trend that Bitcoin has been in pretty much for all of its entire history. Pretty much Bitcoin price would just be riding up the bottom, the fair value price of Bitcoin until around the time of the halving when it would actually start taking off. 
Now, if Bitcoin holds this, well, what could we see? We could see new all-time highs as early as June of this year or as late as, let's say, around middle of 2023. So towards a year or so, we could see new all-time highs. And then we might see 2024, 2025 much higher highs. Now, this is past performance predicting future results, and we just know that doesn't happen. Now, what happened today? $165 million in Bitcoin longs were liquidated today. And if you want to know why the price crashes so hard, it is because of all these leveraged traders. When there is price movement, they have to cover their position. They have to either buy or sell immediately in order to cover their position. And that causes this huge cascade of longs. As a matter of fact, this is the highest daily long liquidation since the January 2022 crash in case you don't remember what it looked like back then this was the january 2022 crash this one way back here which took us way down to the bottom that we saw in this white trend line right here so that being said well it's brought us to levels that kind of eh, make it a bit iffy like this level right here from colin talks crypto bitcoin just broke below the 100 week ma line historically this means a massive capitulation event follows we can see this red line right here every time bitcoin has broken below there look at that capitulation look at that capitulation we're right there right now we are literally on that line right now if we break through the bottom potentially could see a big capitulation event as a matter of fact this echoes what we saw last week from nunya business saying that the last two times that the 20 and 50 weekly ma's turned negative in their slope we saw over a 50% correction in Bitcoin. And further, this echoes what Plan C was saying with the accumulation phase floor confirmation cross. That every time this blue short-term holder floor crosses to the downside of the green dormancy flow floor, well, Bitcoin crashes down to this green dormancy flow floor, right now around $28,000. So that being said, at the moment, long-term holders are still sitting somewhat pretty. We're in the belief, denial. We haven't seen the co true capitulation like we've seen previously when we get into the fear and capitulation phases. So right now, at the moment, people are staying pretty. But if you remember, people are pretty scared, and they've been scared for quite a while. Which brings us to this. Rational Root says that the RSI of the S&P 500 and Bitcoin now together in the oversold zone where historically fairly rapid a bottom has formed. So we can see that both the S&P 500 and Bitcoin, both in oversold RSIs, historically, when this has happened, they've had a pretty fast recovery in terms of price. Will we see this happening again? A pretty fast recovery. Is this just fear? And then we have a massive bounce back. Because if we take a look at a lot of the charts, a lot of the charts are suggesting we have seen a bottom already, not likely to go lower. Doesn't mean it won't happen. Just means not likely like this bitcoin percent supply last active over one year ago at all-time high with 100 day rate of change rollover so this uh gray area is the 100 day rate of change rollover and when we have a rollover combined with an all-time high of the bitcoin last active supply guess what that's pretty much a bottom price doesn't go any lower once that happens we already had that happen back here suggesting that bitcoin price would not continue to go lower than what we had previously seen at the 30 to 32 thousand dollar area also this chart novel demand and supply on chain indicator for bitcoin the ocb indicator developed by stock money lizards we can see the low ocb values indicate it's overpriced but currently we're at fundamentally undervalued levels anytime it's in this green band up here bitcoin has been fundamentally undervalued we just entered the green band once again likely a great opportunity to accumulate at a steep steep discount but i hear you a lot of people are still fearful and you know there's no predicting where the market's going to go i mean it's just been chopping sideways for over a year between 30 and fifty thousand dollars but this from the golden basis bands from plan c have nailed all the bottoms for the entire history of bitcoin Interestingly, the floor band in blue right here is not at twenty to twenty-five thousand, but currently thirty to thirty-three thousand dollars. So we may see a retesting of previous lows. But all the charts right now, well, all of them except for these three, suggesting a fifty percent price crash. All the charts except for those 
suggesting that we won't see any lower lows. So that's all for today's video, guys. It's great to be back. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thanks to Team YouTube for reinstating the channel, and thanks to everyone again for helping get the channel reinstated. I will see you again tomorrow. Enjoy your Saturday. Love you all. Peace.